In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the four best outreach tools that I found that you are going to have to use for your SMMA heading into the new year 2024. The first two will make it so much easier for you to find the right contacts and prospects to be reaching out to in your campaigns. And then the last two will actually help you automate the sending of the messages so that you can get to more prospects with less time and less energy. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Lloyd Yip. I've spent the last four years building my online agency and consulting firm, and I've also helped over 140 plus companies at this point really scale up their marketing by systematizing their processes. So what I'll be sharing with you has been rigorously tested with not just myself, but with a ton of clients as well. All right, so for the first tool that I wanna talk about with you, this is a software that I think literally any agency owner that is going after local businesses such as plumbers, electricians, uh, orthodontists, anyone who is going after these local businesses, they should be using this tool for their outreach. And what is this tool? It is a Google Maps scraper. And what it allows you to do is automate the pulling of data from Google Maps so that you can actually get the contact information for all those local businesses, whether it be phone numbers, email, so that you can start doing your outreach. So with Lead Sniper, it's actually a Chrome extension. So let me open this up for you real quick so I can demo it for you. Um, essentially, what you would be able to do is just put in whatever keyword that you would normally be looking for as far as like a niche is concerned. And then as soon as you click start, it'll just navigate towards a particular city and then you'll be able to find that information. So let's say electricians is what you're going for. And then it'll spit out a Google map link, of course. It'll go directly to the city that you live in first and foremost, and then it'll just start running through all the different uh, businesses that essentially match that particular keyword. I actually live in beautiful and sunny Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Um, part of the reason why I actually started my business is because I wanted to travel, live in uh, places that are not quite as cold as Canada, which is actually where I am from. Um, and yeah, that, that was a big driver as to why I wanted to start my online business and work remotely. So with this, you're able to essentially pull all of this information. And remember, normally you need to do all of this manually, right? You'd have to like essentially go to Google Maps and then you might need to set up a spreadsheet, go down every single one of these different listings and jot down their email, jot down their phone number. Super annoying, super time consuming. But why do that when you could literally just have a software do that for you? So let's actually open up that extension again. And now you'll see they've already found 80 leads. It'll continue finding more and more and more unless you tell it to stop. Um, but I'm gonna just make it stop for now just because like for the sake of demonstration, I'm not gonna try to find a thousand leads for you. And then you can essentially just export this into a CSV and let's actually open that up, see what that looks like. It's on my second screen. And here you are, right? You actually have all the different contact records here that they scraped, you have the addresses, you have the phone numbers, you have all of this different information, which is really, really great. And then once you have this information, you can do what you want with it, right? Put it into an SMS campaign, put it into a call campaign, put it into an email campaign. That's the power of this particular scraping tool, right? And no outreach campaign can even begin unless you first have the right data. So with that being said, if you wanna test out this tool, go to my description box below, there's actually a link in which you can pretty much try it out for yourself and see if you like it. Maybe it'll be valuable and helpful in your business. So on the topic of finding and scraping information, that is what my next tool does as well. I would say the biggest difference between the Google Maps tool versus this tool with Apollo. Apollo's probably better for B2B. So if you're going after like larger companies, companies with like 20, 50, 100 employees, maybe your typical white collar types of industries, manufacturing, um, finance, technology, like you're probably gonna have a little bit more success with Apollo. Um, Apollo, I would say, uh, part of where it gets its data from is even LinkedIn. And you can imagine LinkedIn is like a very B2B centric type of database. So what I like about Apollo is it gives you really, really great filters. You can obviously look up um, specific employee count in the in the filters. So imagine you're going after only huge companies. You could obviously go after specific industries and you could just put in keywords, 
right? Like cloud AWS, these are very technology centric keywords. So you can imagine once again, Apollo is kind of meant more so for B2B organizations. So anyone who's running like IT type of company and agency that's specifically going after B2B works really, really well. Um, other things such as what technologies they use, how much funding do they have, how much revenue they have. You, you have so many different filters and options here. And from that, you're able to essentially get a lot of the information that you might be looking for. So let's say, let's just use software because I think that's like an easy, uh, that's an easy keyword to use. And for now, let's just um, split up the uh, other filters. Let's say like 11 to 20. Um, and then you could even use job titles. So like, let's say CEO or owner, whatever. I'm not gonna actually put in every single filter just because this is just an example. But here you are, you have like a list of 14,000 and if you wanna export all of them, you can. If you wanna export just some of them, you can. And when you do export them, you're able to get their phone number, their email, their LinkedIn URL. All this amazing data, which you can then obviously deploy inside your campaigns. The other thing that I think is cool about Apollo is if you even wanna use it to send your emails, you can, right? So it's a pretty cool multi-purpose tool. Now, both Apollo and uh, Lead Sniper, if you wanted to check them out, the download links to give them a test are below. Actually, all the tools that I'll be sharing with you today will have download links available in the description box below so you can test them all out, okay? But let's move on to a new category because both Lead Sniper and Apollo were more so on the lead scraping side. It was more so for you to actually find the contact data of your potential prospects. But the next two tools, but the next two tools that I want to share with you are more about how to actually reach out to your prospects. So let's go to Dripify. Dripify is by far my favorite LinkedIn automation tool. So if you're going after a bit more of a B2B centric audience, people who are naturally going to spend a lot of time on LinkedIn because it is a social media platform that makes sense for them, then this is in fact a great tool because you can actually set up really, really awesome campaigns which will allow you to connect with people on LinkedIn automatically, right? So instead of needing to manually go into someone's LinkedIn profile and clicking connect, and then manually waiting for them to accept your connection request, and then manually sending out more messages, you're starting to see a pattern here, right? This could happen all in automation, where you can automatically send out an invite, you can set up your outreach message, and provide a personalization tag so it automatically pulls in their first name. And then as soon as they accept your connection request, then it'll even allow you to set up an automated second message, an automated third message. You can even decide how many days in between every message you're gonna wanna wait before you send the following message. So all of this power under just one software, it's amazing. And then you have a neat and tidy inbox where all the people who you sent a message to, if they respond, you can manage them all right here, which is really, really great. So that's Dripify. Once again, if you wanna check it out, download link is below in the description box. And then the fourth and final tool that I wanna talk about today is Reply.io, which is really similar, I would say, to Dripify, except it's more so for email and texting. So if you wanna create a sequence which is fully automated, sending out emails and SMS, then this is really a great tool to do so. So it's really similar to Dripify. Obviously you can set up the actual canned message. You can decide how many days in between you can wait. Um, you can set up the copy in advance for both your emails and your, uh, and your text messages. So really, really powerful tool. It technically does do LinkedIn, but I think Dripify does LinkedIn so much better that I would recommend you just use Dripify for LinkedIn if you're gonna be doing it. But reply, really, really solid for email, texting, and you can even set up some call tasks for you, okay? Now, I always get DMs and emails from people that watch my videos as to how expensive are these tools or which particular package do you recommend that I get given my use case? So instead of me needing to constantly respond over email for this question, I'll just kind of tell you directly in this video, okay? So obviously every tool has their own pricing. With Google Maps Scraper, I actually think that it's really, really good because it's not a recurring monthly fee. A lot of these other softwares, they'll charge you a subscription fee. And obviously they wanna continue to keep you on the hook and every single month they'll make a little bit of profit off you. With Google Maps Scraper, I think it's really great because you pay one time and you essentially get an unlimited amount of leads using that extension. So 
I do think that if you're just working on your own for yourself, the starter package is like sufficient. But if you like run an agency and you have a lot of different uh, companies that you want to be utilizing the tool for, then you might need to get additional extensions and additional licenses for different accounts. In that case, you could get the lifetime access for the 10 installations instead. But either way, anytime you install this, it's going to be a one-time payment and then you can pretty much use it forever, unlimited. So I think that's really, really good. Um, but once again, whichever your use case requires, just get that one. Now, the other tools are more subscription-based. That being said, I do think that they're still very good bang for the buck. Um, if they weren't, I would not really recommend it because I use these tools and I'm just like kind of cheap, to be honest. Um, like I I'm willing to spend on tools if I need them, but if I can you know, minimize costs wherever I can, I will. Once again, Apollo is the database that is more useful for B2B scraping. Um, I think that the unlimited professional package at $79 a month is really good because, I mean, obviously it depends on if you need that many email credits. If, if you don't really need unlimited credits, if you're not mass scraping emails, then I guess you could probably get away with the basic plan, which frankly is not very much. Um, but it really just depends on your usage, right? They do have a free uh, version, but, but there's honestly so few email credits that you're getting from the free version that if your purpose of using Apollo is to actually scrape information, the free version is just not going to cut it. Dripify is a great tool. Its most popular package and the one that I actually use is the pro version, the $59 per month version. I don't use the advanced version because like, frankly, the things that it offers in the advanced version would be like if you manage a team, so you have multiple LinkedIn accounts, or you want to have like really precise control over like sending limits. But I don't think you really need that. Like, I don't recommend any of my clients get the advanced version unless they actually have a team of many, many different salespeople, each using Dripify. And then finally, with Reply, I actually use the starter package. Um, that's just me. That's because I, I only use one email inbox. That being said, um, I have a lot of clients who do use the professional version because they have more mailboxes. Um, and if you have multiple domains, multiple email accounts, then it just makes sense to use the professional version. Those are the four tools. Every single one of them, if you want to test it out, just go to my description link below, give them a test drive. And I'm confident that if you were to just intelligently use all of these tools together for your business, then you're going to for sure start generating some epic results for your agency heading into the new year. All right, so with that being said, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you want to learn more, go to my YouTube channel. I have so many other videos that are also about outreach, prospecting, marketing in general, softwares to automate stuff, right? It's all there, so give it a look, and I will see you next time. Cheers.